Exchange rates a very simple topic, but a topic that a lot of students find very difficult for reasons I just never understand. The exchange rate, very simply, is just the price of one currency in another currency. It's just a price. For example, one pound might be equal to one dollar sixty. The price of one pound in terms of dollars is one dollar sixty. The price of one currency in another currency, as simple as that. And because we're talking about the price of something, when we try to understand where that price comes from, where an exchange rate is determined, we simply go to an economic market. Demand and supply, the force of demand and supply, tell us where this price comes from. So here, we're looking at the price of pounds, aren't we? We're looking at the pound exchange rate against the dollar. On the y axis, we can't just write price. Specifically, it's the price of the pound in dollars. That's very important. So any time in an exam situation, They've told you what exchange rate you're determining, in what currency, then you have to use those currencies on the y-axis. The price of whatever currency you're trying to work out, the exchange rate you're trying to work out, in the currency that they're giving you. And on the x-axis, quantity of the currency, you have the market for. So in this case, quantity of the pound. We're working out the pound exchange rate. So, when working out the exchange rate of the pound in dollars, we have a demand for the pound and a supply of the pound, and where the two are dissect, we have equilibrium. That gives us a price and a quantity, and the price is very simply the exchange rate, which in this case is one pound is equal to one dollar sixty. That's it. So this is the market for the pound. The market for pounds, not random demand and supply. Okay, very specifically demand and supply of the pound and for the pound. That's it. That's how an exchange rate is determined. determined. The force of demand and supply, where the two intersect, we have equilibrium, that gives you the exchange rate, the price of the currency you're trying to work with. Don't get confused by that, make sure it's crystal clear in your head now. Thanks for watching, see you next time.